Hello, hello, hello. Is anyone out there? I don't think so. Let's see. You go there. What about you? That coming up. Hey, look at that. We're live. <sighs> Do that. Cool. Hey, what's up, Pete? <clears throat> Joey's asking, him, Am I live? I am live. Let's play some music. Do I want this to be found later? Hmm. I don't know. Let's just see. How is everyone doing today? I'm bored. So, I jumped on a live stream. Haha. <laughs> So, what should we run? I have no idea. Well, we're live, but with no plan whatsoever. Absolutely no plan. Joe would be turning around in his grave right now. Or in his bed. You know, vampire and all. You're watching TV with Jen. How dare you watch TV with Jen and then watch me on a live stream. She's going to kick your ass. <clears throat> you know what? Where's that stupid little car? Oh, there it is. I have no idea what to run, guys. I have these uh, little Janettas. They came in this electric twin pack. They're robust cars. And beat them up a bit. I got two of them. One red one, one white one. Uh, get this on the track. Hey, MB Auto Detail. What's up? Mini Coopers. How many times do you want to see the Mini Coopers run? We've been running Mini Coopers a lot. You like Mini Coopers? You know what sucks about the Mini Coopers? Is I can't chip them. So my plan of chipping the Mini Coopers is dead to rights. Because the chassis is so small and I can't fit, find space for the chip and I do not want to hack the body. So. Uh oh. I got the Joe Syndrome. You know, Skeletric Guides are pretty rough. Yeah, let me go here. So if you got a Skeletric car, you need to change the guide because these guides are rough on Carrera track. They just never work. The cars jump out so fast. So, yeah. You skipped them a couple, few weeks ago. Uh, okay, I run minis just for you. Because you asked for it. So let's go. Live stream time. Let's take out some minis. Make me go in my boxes. Nobody just wants to run the normal car. I want mini Coopers. All 
All right, let's see. I got the mini. I got a mini right here. Yeah, it's unfortunate because so. And anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna buy uh, Civic Type R's and that. Uh, I'm gonna do four four BTCC uh, cars. I guess. Uh, let's see. Seems to be opened up. Yeah, unfortunately, these cars don't have a DPR door. And if you can look at where that motor is, there's not much room in the chassis to actually chip them. So, kind of bummed out about that. But hey, that means I have to buy other cars. We'll figure it out. Let's see. Put this Mini on track. All right, cause you asked for it. Let's go see what the Mini does. Mini on track now. Oh, Mini off track now. You know what, I think the voltage is too high. Let me drop it down to 12 volts. 12 volts, 12 volts. Cool. So how has everyone been doing this week anyway? Anybody buy any new cars? It's so quiet. Little mini on track. Uh oh. Getting very intimate with a soldering iron. What are you doing with it? Or is it a surprise? No new cars. We finished 2.0 on my track layout. Cool. Oh, man. I think Joe's been smitten by the Ferrari F1 that he drove at Massimo's place. That's a scale auto, by the way, Joe. I think you're talking about the Marlboro one, or are you talking about the Carrera one? Yeah, there you go, Pete. There is a Mini for you. Really cool cars. Just, uh, can't chip them. So, I don't know. If we could chip them, I would definitely run a race with four of these on track. But I cannot. So, we're looking at probably... getting a whole bunch of these guys Civic Type R's because Simon drives the Type R and uh, yeah chipping four of these or this uh, 135 a VW Passat and I think 
Is there another car that fits in this category? I don't remember. Um, yeah, trying to get some of these, chip them up so we can do four, four digital cars racing on track. Yeah, I mean, I mean the Legends cars come close to this. I don't know if you guys run Legends. Um, they come close to the Minis, little Coopers. They just need to be done up a bit, cause out of the box, I think the Legends are a bit sloppy. Um, so, but then yeah, you can really fix them up. I wish I could get six going at once. Yeah, I've been hearing about your garages. Yeah. Um, yeah, anybody uh, have any cars that they think I should buy when I'm in UK? Any car that's on the list I should look out for? Let me know. You know what? Let's put the shadow on track. Lexus RCF. Lexus. I have a Lexus. So I don't know if you know anything about G slots, but I do have these two Lexus from G slot. These were bought in 2008, 2009, I think. These are like advanced chassis. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. Uh, they're rare now, but I have two of them. Actually, I have the full G slot collection of cars that they released. What's up, Racer X? I don't know if you guys have seen these cars before. Um, they don't go really well. Uh, you know what? Let me put them on track. It's a bit stiff though. Let's see, I think this one's better. I haven't run them in a while. Let's go live, see what's up. <laughs> okay. Let's go here. So this is a G slot. Oops. Hey, what's up, Hank? Actually, MP also gave me a car. MP gave me a car when I went over to his house. We'll take it out next. Let me just run this G slot a bit. If you're looking for timings tonight, I'm not really running a timing. I'm just 
shooting the shit, running some cars on track. It's late night here. I've been recovering from the flu all week. And it's my first time in the basement since the weekend. So, just going to chill and run some cars. Glad you guys are with me. Is it a Ferrari? <laughs> no. This is... Uh, these are G-slots. I don't know if you guys ever heard of G-slots before. <clears throat> so, this is a company out of Japan. Um, yeah, so in 2008, obviously, there weren't a lot of people making JDM. And G-slot was one of those companies out of Japan making JDM, but it was really advanced. I meant for the ones from MP. Oh. The one, no, MP gave me an Acura, actually. Um, so let me bring that over. Let's have a look at that car. Here we go. So, this is the car MP gave me. It's from Ninko. It's the Acura. Really cool. So, I don't know, uh, but G-Slot made an Acura too. Uh, so, this is the G-Slot. I, I have all the colors from G-Slot. So, it's almost identical to this one. Um, I think the livery is almost the same. It's the Rayburg livery. Um, yeah, so this is the G-Slot version. Like I said, hyper cool chassis. And then this is the one that from Ninko that MP gave me. So this is supposedly souped up. So let's put it on track and see what it does. here for the two C yep she's pretty fast It's really cool. This lighting system is got a capacitor inside, so as the car runs, uh, it charges up into the capacitor, and then the lights la run up. So, fairly simple car to drive. It is quick. Um, yeah, I think it's a nice looking car. Thanks to MP for that. Yeah, every time me and MP see each other, we tend to give each other cars. It's a thing that we do these days. Um, yeah, so he gave me this Acura. So the lights do what? Yeah, so as you can see, the lights are on here. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, but there's a capacitor inside this car. So as it runs, it charges up. It, uh, the capacitor stores the charge, and then the lights light up. So you can see they're still on right now, even though it's off the track. So it's kind of cool. You get this kind of lighting. Um, yeah, quick car. Thanks a lot, MP. Put this down here. Uh, this is another cool car here. So this is a custom car. You guys know I'm a Mopar nut. And somebody 
uh, built this Challenger into a slot car for me um, using the slotted chassis. I don't know if you've seen this, but this is the adjustable slotted chassis. Um, so yeah, this is a Challenger custom built for me. And let's put it on track, see what it does. It's never been run. So we'll put it on track. I don't think it runs really well. I, I mean, it runs very quiet but it is a car that needs to be practiced with a lot but super quiet Kind of cool for drifting because there's no mags. Oops, there you go. Lost it. Kind of fun though. Whoops, wrong controller. This would be good for slow motion. I can do some drifting. Yeah, I gotta do some work with this car. Actually, I have all the Dukes of Hazard stuff too. I've been thinking about getting some drift cars to run on the track, make some cool footage. Maybe I build a mini Skelectric drift track or something. Do some smoke and drifting, slow motion. Hey, maybe that's an idea. I get Hulk and Sulk to build a track. Ha ha ha. What do you guys think? This car is fun to drive. A little bit of sideways action. Uh oh. Oh, I saved it. Nice. Yeah, I might do something with that. You know, I'm always looking for quirky stuff. There you go. What do you guys think? Really sweet, right? Yeah. Drivers. It's all hand painted. I mean, somebody took the effort to do this. It's awesome. And uh, it's a challenger. So, yeah. Cool little car. Like it a lot. Really smooth. Mopar. What did it start out? Actually, I think it was just um, it was a 132nd Mopar kit that was a toy car, I believe, and then he stripped down and then rebuilt it with um, the slotted chassis. I don't know. It was a car that I picked up from someone who had it, um, and uh, yeah, so I don't know how he built it. I don't know too much about the history of that car, so. Oh, by the way, Joe, those grub screws from Amazon work. So I just tuned up my shadow with the grub screws uh, that I got from Amazon. Um, so they work. So I don't know if Joe's still in the chat, but we were looking at getting grub screws because Ernie didn't have any. And we found some from Amazon. I ordered them in and they work. So, whoop de doo Let's put this shadow on track. It's one of my favorite cars to drive. All 
Obviously, this is the one with the mag. I have two of them. I have one shadow without mag, one shadow with mag. And then I have a shadow in the box. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I thought it was important because it's such a cool looking car. Revolutionary guide system. So, anyway. I do have the scale auto 963. I've been hearing great things about that car, but I haven't unboxed it yet. And it's something I need to do maybe this week. And uh, I'll put that on track as well. But I love the shadow. I think Ernie's running a Can Am race tomorrow. Just thinking about stopping by. The problem is, if I go to Ernie's, I'm going to spend too much money. <laughs> and I am I'm already getting ready for UK so I don't know if I want to stop by Ernie's tomorrow gotta avoid temptation this car is so nice so smooth easy to drive with or without magnets, it's a great car. Yeah, I like this car a lot. I'm having issues with my scale auto though. For some reason it won't complete a lap. I don't know whether it's getting caught. I have no idea, it just cuts power for some reason. I'll show you what I mean. Didn't do this before. Just started doing it today. So I don't know if I have to tear it down and rebuild it. But see, we go down and cut power. I just get stuck there. And that's it. So very strange. So I cannot run my skill auto right now, but I do have a Viper. Let's see, should we make it a Mopar night? Maybe we should. Is anyone still here? <laughs> I have no idea. Let's see, let me get a Viper out. Let's see if the Viper will run. <laughs> Alright, so Scale Auto Viper, another one of my favorites, non-mag, run this at Ernie's a lot. Let's see if we run on my track. The Porsche was a no-go. Mind you, I did drop that Porsche, so maybe I damaged it, I have no idea. But I will tear it down, rebuild it. See what's up. See if the Viper will make it round around the track. Pop, pop, pop. Let's go here. Mopar Knight. 
Yeah, the Viper is fine. So share that Porsche. There we go. I love this scale auto Viper, man. I have uh, so many of them too. So. Yeah, a bit of drift action. This will be fun to shoot too. Hmm, need to bring out my smoke machine and do some drifting. Yeah, definitely gonna pick up a drift track probably. Can play with my smoke machine a lot. <laughs> Woo. I love this car. You know, there's joy with analog, um, non mag, there's joy with analog mag. I love both. There's something about drifting a car around the track, but there's also something about having cars just go really fast. So. Isn't this car beautiful? Oh my God. I could drive all night with this one. All right. So, what do you guys think? You like that Viper? I like the Viper. It's sweet. Sweet car, non mag, beautiful to drive. Yeah, I removed the spring out of this guide. It works better without the spring in it when you have no mags in it. Cause without the magnets, um, it tends to hop. So when you take out the mag, take out the springs, save yourself some grief, run really good. So I run something old school now. I don't know how many of you guys have seen this car. This is a Dr. Zeus car. This I bought in, I think, 2008. Yeah, they come out. It's a slotted. It's beautiful. I've upgraded it. It's got a long can King motor inside. I don't know if you can see this. It's a 46,000 RPM King motor. And I used to run this at the local track. So, I don't know. Let's put this on track and see what it does. I haven't run it in so many years. It's not oiled, it's not greased, so let's hope for the best. There you go. Don't shoot me now. Let's see. Ooh. I love you. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see. There we go. Not bad. Not bad for a car that hasn't run since 2008. I'm pretty happy with it. Gotta do another video with this car. All my old school cars. Like I said, there's joy with a mat. Oh, that was not good. Let's go find out what happened. <clears throat> Got too overzealous with the throttle. You'd rather drive a Beetle than a Viper? You can leave the chat now, Joe. I think it's wise for you to leave the chat. That's why you and me are not friends. That's it.
Yeah, MB, you tell him off. The man doesn't know what he's talking about. I do love Beatles, don't get me wrong. But a Viper and a Beatle? Come on. Something seriously wrong with you. Oh, this car is so nice to drive. Ah! Smashed it. I have a sad story from the weekend, actually. It really hurts me. Uh, let me, let me, let me talk to you, my brothers here. So, this weekend was a lot of fun, obviously. We had this guy called Joe. He came down from Montreal. But uh, on the weekend, we went to Ernie's, and. Uh, I have a very favorite car that I like to run in Ernie's. It's actually a very tuned down. It's what I learned. It's the first car I learned how to drive non-mag with. And it was pristine. And then I gave it to Hulk to drive. I told him take it easy. But uh, my car came back. Sand spoiler. Totally busted. He lost the, the side view mirror too. My poor baby got destroyed. So, a little bit sadness. Because I really love this car. And uh, so, I don't know. I'm gonna have to put it back together somehow. Need to find a spoiler. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. What else you guys want me to run? I'm just hanging out here. It's 1204. Oh, I have a live stream to be on tomorrow morning too. I don't know. You guys tell me if you want to see other cars. Um, I'm always up for running cars. It's funny how cars seem to multiply all over the track. Another 10 minutes? Okay, what should we run for 10 minutes? You guys name a car. If I have it, I run it. You guys want to see a black arrow run? It is digital. It's chipped. Have you guys ever... Okay. Hey, Marty. What are you doing on at this time of night? This is the witching hour. I'm just chilling at the track. Running some cars. I don't know. Hmm. Alright. Uh, you guys ever seen a black arrow? This is a black arrow. You guys ever seen this car? Any of you run this car? <laughs> All right, Marty. Uh, yeah, you guys have seen this car before? Yeah, so this is, I don't think they make these cars anymore. But this is a black arrow car, supposedly one of the fastest lock cars around. Uh, I did chip, this one is chipped. You look for the spoiler. Well, you failed me. You failed me, man. My poor Porsche came back with spoiler, without spoiler. He came back with a damaged rear end. <laughs> Let's run this digital car. Let's see. No cars on track. 
Let us go digital. Let's see. We're digital now. We code? No coding. Not gonna lie. Oh. All right. Let's see. Let's put this here. Let's run this Black Arrow. First time I've ever run this car. Let's see what it does. Mom Mag. Whoops. Very drifty. This car needs some um, adjustments. I think the brake bias is high on this car. Let me just see. Hard to stay on power with this car. Nope. Not a very good debut. Where do I find a starting grid straight? Um, I think you can buy it. I don't know if they sell it separately. I, I'm not too sure. So yeah, that's the Black Arrow. Uh, difficult to drive right now. I think I have to spend more time with this. But ever since I got this car, I've never really driven it. Um, I just bought it because I knew it was, uh, I knew it was uh, un unicorn kind of car, so gotta get used to it, drive it more. So, what else do you want to run? Is there anything else that you guys want to see? Like I said, chill night, nothing crazy. What do I have on my shelf? I have too many cars. I don't know what to run anymore. Marty, any suggestions? Marty's got a good collection of cars now. It's a time when Marty had only five cars. I'll never forget that. And now, look at him. When he did his lineup of cars for this season, I was like, yeah, Marty, there you go. Group 5 Beetle, I think they're called K4 or something like that. Ooh, I have one of those. I have one of those.
All right, Pete. I have one of those, but it's not downstairs. It's upstairs in the other studio. So next time I do a live, I'll bring it down and I'll run it. But I do have a K for Beetle. I have the black one, black and gold. Run the Elva. Where is the Elva? Marty's Elva. If I, oh, there you go. All right, Marty. Here comes the Elva, just for you. Elva time. Marty wants the Elva. Let's go, Elva time. Semi truck. Huh. All right. Last car of the night. This one is, this is the Elva that Marty built for me. This is built by Marty, tuned by Marty. One of the first cars I ever got gifted. And uh, yeah, always have a special place in my heart, Marty. Thank you so much. Uh, but he always wants me to run this. And I was thinking about running it tomorrow at Ernie's if I do go for the Can-Am uh, races tomorrow. But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's put the elbow on track. Do you have anything all-wheel drive? I have, yeah, I have uh, two rally cars. Uh, they're from Auto Art. Uh, I am looking for the 918 TDI all-wheel drive when I go to England. The all-wheel drive cars are upstairs in the other studio. So let's uh, let's run the Elva for Marty. And uh, next time I'll bring the all-wheel drives. Next time we'll do rally cars. How about that? I'll run some rally cars. But let's see Marty's Elva on track. This is non-mag. It holds up, Marty. It's easy to drive, Marty. Oops, I say that and I go off. Should I have spoken? What happened? Mind you, Marty, these have silicones on them still. So it's going to take all the rubber off my track. <laughs> but that's okay. Ah. I'm too hot on the throttle. Okay. Let's give the elbow a good run. Concentrate a bit, everyone. Dial this back a bit. Sensitivity. All right, let's go. Oh, man. Give me a pop. Ah, just saying hi. What's up, Richie? Let me take this down a bit. It's my break. Yeah, the silicone is going to pick up a lot of dirt. Sorry, Mark. But the car drives really well. Oh. Every time I say that, it's like, it's like, no, don't talk. Just drive. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know what's really funny is that Ernie's, he sells quick slicks, right? But everyone at Ernie's runs urethane. So I wonder 
how many people actually run quick slicks, pull up the rubber at earnings track, and then everyone puts the rubber back down. It's kind of crazy. Because all the races on earnings track are with urethane tires, not silicone. But he only sells quick slicks. Strange. Ooh. What do you think, Marty? Yeah, she's beautiful, Marty. Thank you. One day I'll grow up to tune like Marty. <laughs> nice run, Marty. Thank you so much for that. Boom, Alva, tuned by Marty, a gem of a car. Got to tear it apart so I can fix, learn how to tune my other uh, uh, thunder slots. All right, boom. Yeah, uh, fun car to drive. Yeah, just like the Shadow, I really like driving that car. Um, I think that's it for tonight, guys. Just want to jump on, say hi, run a live stream, get back in the swing of things. Like I said, I've been sick all week. This is my first day back in the basement. The track's probably dirty, but it was fun just to run some cars, catch up with you folk. Hope you guys are doing well. I guess I'm on a live stream tomorrow morning with Pete and Joe, but catch you guys later. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, have a great evening, okay? And have fun on rails. Talk to you guys later. Ciao. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Pete. I do feel better. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, guys. Take care. Bye.